This is my third try at a 3D printed wind up fan. My first try ran for two minutes, over two minutes. Second try ran for three minutes and a bit. This one, oops, that's backwards. This one should have a significant performance increase because I'm using a better spring. On the first two, I used uh, springs from seatbelt return mechanisms. But on this one, I'm using the spring from a broken tape measure, which has a, a much fatter spring and a longer spring. I get a lot more winds out of it and it's stronger. So one, two, three. 10. Twenty. Thirty. I think there's going to be a few more. Thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four. Yeah, that's about it. So I thought your other ones did forty. No, the other ones only did the first. The first one I made only did 20 turns. The second one only did 12 turns. And the second one ran for a longer period of time, even though I could turn it fewer times. This one, I can turn it more, and it's geared the same as the second one, so it should go for a pretty long time. Now, I do have a different propeller uh, drawn that's ready to 3D print, but I'm gonna try the same propeller, because I'm, I, I wanna try the same propeller with all three mechanisms to get a you know, kind of a, what's it? Something that's not a variable, because there's so many other variables in here. However, I do have a, a better, what I think is a better propeller that should give more runtime, because it'll have more wind resistance, but also blow more air. So it'll slow down the whole thing while blowing the same amount of air, hopefully. So it should give me a bit more time, but um, this one looks pretty good. So the, the spring I got out of the tape measure, they're really easy to get out. And, you know, if you're like a building kind of person, you always end up with these tape measures like this one that's uh, totally on its last legs. It's about to rust through right here. The numbers are gone. I feel comfortable taking this one apart, pulling the spring out of it. This one's only a 16 foot tape measure though, so it won't have as big a spring as the one in here. This one was a 25 foot tape measure. I don't know, the rest of it's garbage, I think. Oh, is there anything else? So, <clears throat> most of the parts here are 3D printed, obviously. And it uses, the, the non-3D printed parts are five skate bearings, just standard size skate bearings. I wanted to use something that would be easy to find for anyone. And then, the spring out of a tape measure. And you should be able to use the spring out of pretty much any tape measure, because the way it, it connects, I used a lighter to anneal the end of the spring to bend it to, to kind of lock in there. And I'll show how all that works. But uh, this is just a test to make sure this is actually a good, you know, final thing that I want to share all the files for so other people can make it. And then I'll make a video of putting it all together and, you know, getting a spring out of the tape measure and how you connect it and having the spring explode everywhere, of course, and then winding it back up which is how I did it here. There, I'm, I'm sure there's a better way to do it, but I, <laughs> I just like yanked the spring out so it just <laughs> turned into this big mess and then rewound it, which worked fine. Um, other than that, I guess I'll, I'll just shut up and let this run. I'll have to fast forward this. Should we fast forward this part? Let's fast forward this part.
All right, I think that's pretty much stopped. I can still feel it a little bit, but that's pretty much done. So how long was that? I'll have to put a timer on the video when I, when I do the thingy. Very good. Either way, I'm super happy with this one. This is really good. Um, Would that be my band? This one's mine. Oh, I don't know. You can have that. You can have number two, maybe.